very humble student of the market. I'm doing this 23 plus years. I still have a very healthy fear of the market, right? I trade without a doubt, but I have a very healthy fear. That's how I completely stay grounded. And I look at things from... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. The market continues, well, to be the market. And the most important part is you wanna put it into perspective what's happening, what's not happening, okay? So here are the cues. If you guys remember, this whole thing innocently, innocently right? started when we reclaimed uh, that 296.75 area. Again, if you've been watching this broadcast, you kind of know that number. It's like tattooed in the back of your head, right? So all this is is a byproduct of a major area, technical area of supply that got reclaimed after a seven-month decline. And now we are getting that aggressive, aggressive move of what happens after the 50-day moving average gets confirmed. So this is the complete opposite of what we saw when the 50-day moving average was lost um, around January, February, March, April, April the 7th, that started a really, really massive decline. That's it, that's all it is. So before you start you know, patting yourself on the shoulder and sticking out your chest and saying how great you are, remember, this is just a byproduct of technical analysis confirming, right? The same way you confirmed on the way up what's doing now, the same way you confirmed on the way down and set a trend, right? That's all it's doing. And I think you know this is a type of market, especially for new traders, they forgot that only two weeks ago they were sitting on their hands screaming cash as a position because they weren't trading on the downside. So keep that in mind. Don't stick out your chest. You're not doing anything special. This is a byproduct of what happens when technical analysis does confirm a green light. And when it does, it becomes very, very special. Stay humble, right? Stay humble. Learn both sides of the market. Understand why things are happening, why things are not happening. That's the most important thing is, and also understand your place in it. The market has a very, very odd and weird sense of humor, how they can quickly pull the market right underneath you, both long and short. So it's very, very important to kind of keep that energy inside, right? Be a very humble student of the market. I'm doing this 23 plus years. I still have a very healthy fear of the market, right? I trade without a doubt, but I have a very healthy fear. That's how I completely stay grounded. And I look at things from reality, right? I look from everything from reality. I try to do everything from day in, day out. I don't try to look two days ahead, three days ahead. It's all about the next day. It's all about data from the next day. It's like the Fed. Fed came out with a, with a comment this morning, say, we, you know, we use our information based on collecting data. That's me, right? That's all we do. We, we try to collect all our information and trade on data, right? Not the rose colored grasses that a lot of people have on. It's all about the data going to the next day. And so far, again, so far so good for the last two weeks and change, we've been on a magical ride. Even yesterday, right? Even yesterday, we talked about, just watch potentially. We talked about, watch potentially if they start losing the five day. We came not even close to the five day. Not even close. It really does show you how strong the market continues to be. Uh, the biggest stocks are still moving from below, right, from below supply. And again, think about it, we're only two weeks in. We're not two, three months in. We're only two weeks in. So you're going to have a lot of stocks playing catch up, right? Reclaiming 50, the 50 day level, kind of a, a trailer of what happened in the indexes. So it's a very, very good market, very aggressive market. Uh, again, just to give you an idea how strong the tape is and how, cons how strong they continue to embrace even bad earnings, right? You had Google, Google, Walmart, Shopify. Uh, Google, Walmart, uh, Shopify, you had, what else did they have? E, um, uh, Meta, um, uh, Microsoft, right? They all reported crappy earnings and guess where they are? A lot higher than they were when they report crappy earnings. The latest case was uh, AMD last night. Again, not a great quarter, not a good quarter. It doesn't matter, right? Even with the run up ahead yesterday, it doesn't matter every dip uh, was bought. So the joke, right? The running joke continues to be, hey, if you want your stock to really, really get aggressive and go to the moon, right? Guide lower, right? Guide lower, announce, <laughs> announce a reduction in the labor force, and you too will have your stocks at the all-time highs. Again, I'm not being sarcastic. That's exactly what's happening here. But again, that falls in line with the domino effect of how strong the market is, where the sentiment continues to lie. And that's continue what we need to trade. 
when, when this market slows down eventually, and it has to slow down eventually, and again, we keep on preparing for it, but again, they keep on going higher, so we continue to push. But eventually when it gets tired is, look, eventually it's gonna start taking out the previous day's low, and that's when you turn around and go, got it, right, got it. So again, remember, it, it, there's no way a market can tank unless it takes out the previous day's low. Obviously, it won't tank until it, rec it loses back the 50-day moving average. But for now, we're continuing to uh, concentrate on names that are coming off the bottom. And again, we'll get to the pivots in a second, and you'll see a continuous theme, right? We talked about Shopify. We talked about Google, which I effed up royally today. But again, it is what it is. Um, Square continues to be a monster. Coinbase, we talked about Coinbase last night. All these monster, monster moves back to the upside, and that's where it is. We're in a bull market until we start uh, until we start losing lower levels the previous day, two days levels. Again, the market is going to continue to hum unless some some dagger comes into the market and some you know some unforeseen news uh, hits the wire that kind of shakes the market. But again, if you look at uh, the proof is in the pudding, right? Bad news higher. Labor workforce reduction higher. Miss up and you know right up and top and bottom line higher <laughs> da, 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 higher so yes this is not a bear market rally the bulls are not getting trapped we're above the 50-day moving average the shorts are continuously to try to con convince themselves this is just a short market rally this is not until we give up the 50-day moving average this is what it is this is exactly what you think it is trade from both sides of the market enjoy the ride right now but just again concentrate on one day at a time one trade at a time and everything will be Okay, that's it. That's basically the technical view of the market. Uh, after the close, you got eBay reporting, right? eBay, you know, not bad, right? Not bad. Had a nice little quarter. It's coming down a little bit. You had Lucid, uh, which I like. I, there's a showroom by me on Lucid. I've only seen one Lucid on the road so far. Maybe that's the problem, right? You can say what you want about Tesla. Tesla's everywhere, right? Every, every one of my neighbors has a damn Tesla can't say so much for this, right? Not so much for this, but again, it's a cool looking car. I did see one in the last several months. Maybe we'll see um, more on the road, but again, Lucid, it's not exactly a Tesla. Rivian is nowhere damn near a Tesla. I'll get to Rivian in a second. Um, NKLA, just to give you an idea how strong this market is. Nikola, what the hell is a Nikola? Right, what the hell's a Nikola? Again, shows you how strong the market is. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, some ideas I like for tomorrow. Um, again, this is so many. You, you can really go through. You, you can really, really go through the Nasdaq 100 and start looking at channels. But again, concentrate on the bottom channels. I like a firm. If a firm starts taking again, if you guys notice, it's the same thing, right? Stocks are just coming out of deep, deep channels. If a firm reclaims the top of the supply tomorrow, uh, it should wake up. Look at Team, another uh, NASDAQ 100 name, trying to wake up. That looks good. Uh, Shopify, huge breakout today. Really, really big breakout. It still probably has a couple more points in it. NET, I really like. Look at NET, again, coming off the bottom of the channel. It's the same chart over and over and over again. Again, you don't want the ones that are up there, right? You don't want up there because up there they pull, right? You want the ones on the bottom, again, so if they fail, you're failing for pennies. You're not failing for dollars. That's a very, very uh, big key. So let's talk about um, you know, let's talk about the pivots today. Um, you know, really big move. Yesterday, a Shopify broke out above 37 and a half. Uh, today confirmed 39 needs to build and Shopify went nuts. Uh, again, I still think it goes higher. It's traded all the way up to the 42 area. I think if it confirms 42 tomorrow, you can see a move push to 44, 45. Really, really good looking chart on that. This is the one I screwed up. Um, it didn't go when I, when I thought it needed to go, right? I, I got long, it went up like 30 cents. They slammed it right back, and I said, well, wait a minute, that's something weird. There must be a seller in the crowd. So I sold Google pretty much break even, and then I watched the stock move up pretty much two points, and I wanted to stab myself repeatedly. But again, it's always safe to be sorry. Again, nobody remembers the trades that they didn't give it, you know, they didn't give it a little more room to play out. They just remember the trades they get, you know, to, to lose money on, and the most, that's the most important part. Uh, again, if you're not comfortable in a trade, just get the hell out. As much as I... You know, saw it run up and blah, blah, blah. It, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Rivian, again, nice move on Rivian, 3560 uh, needs to build. Here was Rivian, again, same chart over and over again, right, guys? They're coming off the bottom of the channel here, right? Here's Rivian, took out the uh, 3550s level. Uh, I still like it. This thing gets above 37. I can see 3840 for the stock. 
Uh, so keep an eye on Rivian for more upside. Too low, one nuts. A little bit too thin for me, but it one nuts. So 91, 80, 92 needs to build. Here was too low, right? Here's the 91, 90, 91, 92 level needs to build. It just just destroyed every every aspect. Closed right at the high of the day near 98. Uh, big move there. FIVN went nuts. Uh, 112.50, 113 needs to build. Here was FIVN, right? So it took out that 12 and a half, 13. Went right to supply at 17 and change. Uh, this little salt of joy uh, didn't uh, didn't work out. Um, I thought it lost about seven cents on this thing. Uh, ran up a nickel and then died out. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Uh, Tesla stopped pretty much at supply. I like this 930 area. Stopped really 930. Eventually Tesla's gonna have to wake up. You know, I think there's a the, I think there's a vote. I think there's a vote um, tomorrow on whether they're splitting the stock or not. I really hope they don't. I don't, I don't see a reason for it, but. Whatever, we'll see there. But I'm definitely watching Tesla for the next couple of days. Coin went out, went out of its mind. Uh, 70 needs to build. Here was Coin. Went completely out of its mind. So it took out 70, took out 79. The damn thing went to 82. They were buying next month's 100 calls. I'm assuming that's uh, you know in line with earnings. Microsoft was really good. 278 needs to build. Here's a sneaky area on Microsoft. And this is, guys, this is what we talk about sneaky pivots. A lot of you guys... Uh, I've always asked, what's a sneaky, sneaky pivot? Here's a sneaky pivot. Here's the, you see this whole channel right here? Hold on. You see this whole channel right here, right? The top of the here was uh, 278, right? 278 here. Top here is 278. So once it got above that 278, da, 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 right? Big, big move here. So here is uh, Microsoft, big move here. 278 needs to build, went right to about that 84 area. Really nice move on Microsoft. Again, uh, coin going nuts, Google. And this is when I was vomiting on my face, 1855 next supply, which I broke even on the trade. I should kill my, ah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the first one to punch the air. Uh, when you mess up a trade, right? That's what we all do. Yeah, so 280 on deck, went to 283, 284. Uh, the coin went nuts, two lows going nuts. Uh, MVIS, watch this MVIS. I like this thing for all you guys who trade little stocks. Uh, keep an eye on this MVIS. If this thing confirms tomorrow, right? Look at this chart here. Beautiful, beautiful little chart here on MVIS. For all you small cap lovers, uh, keep an eye on that. And that is it. So uh, there's definitely a bunch of names that I like that, I, you know, again, I'm not going to really talk about here, but uh, there's definitely a lot of names I like that are coming out of supply. Um, we got a lot of value, right? That's what the mar this market continues to give you a lot of value. Uh, again, remember, stay humble, right? Stay humble. You can't be screaming, you know, you can't be screaming, we're in a bear market, cash is a position, and then all of a sudden pounding your chest when the market goes the other way. It doesn't work that way, right? You got to trade both sides of the market. Right now, we're just a byproduct of what happens when technicals confirm and everything is going well. Guys, God bless. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.